Hello, everybody. We are back. This is Get Real with your hosts, Ashley and Juni. And Peniel, who couldn't make it today, but I promise he'll be back very, very soon. Okay, so it's season two, start of a brand new season, and we have a special guest to kick things off. I'll be introducing her in a little bit. Uh, before that, make sure to follow and review the podcast, as always, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And if you hate ads, consider becoming a member of the Dive Studios Patreon, where you can access ad free episodes. Okay, so before we introduce our guest, we have to introduce our brand new host for season two, Juni. Hey, everybody, it's Juni. It's my time, first time here. No, After, second time. Second time here. Well, mm-hmm. I was a guest before, but now I have upgraded. No, how do I say? <laughs> yeah, I've like- evolved, promoted into a into a host, and I'm uh, very excited to be here. Happy to see Ashley and uh, our special guest. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope I do well. I mean, BM, miss him. But yeah. I'll try my best to fill in the fill in the seats. Yeah. yeah. Last week, we announced that BM won't be able to join us for season two because he's very busy with his solo mm. promotions. So whenever he's done with that, maybe he'll join us. But for now, we have our friend Juni in the studio. If you guys watched Dive Studios, you guys probably saw his face a lot. You did oh, yeah. a lot of things yes. with Eric. And I've seen all of your reels and stuff pop up on my Explore page. Yeah, but. I've watched a, I watched a few. Mm. To be, I'm going to be honest. I watched a few. But. Okay, well, <laughs> how do you feel? Uh, I mean, I feel good. I'm. This is like family and I've seen everyone here for a long time. Mm. And uh, I've seen you for a long time now. It's yeah. been a while, yeah. But… uh. She obviously she doesn't <laughs> think so, but uh, yeah, um, I feel comfortable, and you know, it's Dive Studios. Mm-hmm. It's always welcome. So Neil's not here, but he'll be back soon. We promise. Mm. And then we'll have the complete whole hosts, gang. yeah, the whole gang in the studio. All right, that was enough introduction for <laughs> season two. We have our guest joining us for the first ever episode. Oh. We have Carson. Welcome, welcome, welcome. She's looking Thank beautiful you. in orange. Yes. Can you introduce I, yourself, please? Mm-hmm. Um, my name is Carson Allen. Uh, I'm from the US, but I work here in Korea as an actress. Woo! Actress. Is it, a, is it the first time having an actress here? Uh, on Get Real? We had on like model slash actress, Leah. Yeah. We had oh, yeah, Leah, Leah on the Leah show is an before, actress, so yeah. yeah, she's an actress. You guys know each other, right? We we went to middle and high school together. Whoa. In Korea? In Korea, yeah. So at the American middle school, high school. Oh, what? Yeah, so me and Leah, we go way, way back. back. Oh, Wait, wow. so you went to middle school and high school in Korea? Yeah, at an oh. international… Well, international American school. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. How, when… Like, how long has it been like since you've been here? For a like long time? um oh god like fifteen years wow she's probably better I'm, Korean than you than me <laughs> and, and me and you <laughs> yeah I'm like the foreigner like someday you know like oh. everybody can we get a little bit of Korean later oh. if we <laughs> sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> super curious <laughs> yeah okay. Okay. oh right, right now안녕하세요 저는 미국에서 온 배우 가수입니다 부탁드립니다 Pronunciation. Perfect. Yeah. That was awesome. so natural. Yeah. Now your Sweet. turn. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard you speak Korean. That's why. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I try not to because I'm, I'm always shy. But okay. uh, yeah. All right. So um, Carson, have you ever listened to Get Real? I have. I watched the episodes Leo were in. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, from season one. Okay. Well, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. We've been talking a lot about changes today because, you know, it's the start of a brand new season. Season yeah. two, new mm-hmm. hosts, you know, big changes. So we're actually going to talk about change today. Mm. And uh, for the new season, we kind of changed up the format as well. So it might be a little unfamiliar at first, but I think we'll all get used to it. Mm -hmm. So we have listeners who anonymously sent in their thoughts, confessions, or stories regarding change. And we'll be reading them and discussing them. Mm -hmm. If you guys would like to submit your own stories or experiences, make sure to follow at The Dive Studios on IG and Twitter. 
to know the upcoming themes and submit through the Dive Studios Discord. No, I was gonna ask if someone <laughs> ever accused you guys of changing for the worse. Like, oh really? my god, yes, you've yeah. changed in a in relationships. Way. I feel oh. like I've heard that uh, definitely. Like with my previous relationship, which was pretty long, like four years. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever we would get into arguments, he would always bring up like, "Oh, I miss the old Carson. I miss the old you." Mm. And he would always say that, and I'm like, "But that's that was like." Three years ago, that was four years ago. I'm I'm not the same person yeah. anymore. Like, if you miss her, I'm sorry. Should we have a funeral? Like, to oh. <laughs> to like oh, fully wow. send oh her God. off? Like, <laughs> what do we need to do to like? <laughs> I don't know, but it would bug me so much mm. that he always brought that up. Of and um, because like when we were first dating, I wasn't really pursuing this like career in entertainment, mm. and I think that's kind of what he was referring to. And um, yeah, it, would, it really bugged me that he would say that. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've got I've gotten that from my family and friends, but they're all different. My family said I changed for the better, mm-hmm. and oh, you look like you're actually like really achieving your dream, and you're becoming this person that you really wanted to be, and that made me feel really proud. But then my friends back at home, they'd be like, "Hey, man, you changed. Like, where's the old you? Like, you're you're all like doing music and like you." You know, do, getting Different. makeup on and having hair on, like uh, styled and stuff like that. It's just like, hey man, this is what I gotta do. Like, you gotta, like, you know, I gotta accept it. And you gotta put on the uniform. Yeah. And this is work, right? And they have their own jobs. And, but then, you know, I think the people that respect that and uh, encourage you to change for the better is the people that will stick around the longest in your life. And it's always good to have positive people around you. So, um, if you have any friends that kind of put you down for changing, I don't think that's a it's a good it's a good relationship, you know. When do you know if a person's changing for the worse, and when do you step in to be like, "Hey, I know you're my best friend, but something you're doing is like you're ch- like you're changing in a bad way." Uh, I or do you not even say that? Uh, if I really care for the person, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like I love this person to death, and I I want them to be happy, I would tell them straight up. But then. My like limit is if I kind of… It's it's a judgmental thing. It's like a subjective thing. But if I look at this person's life and it's… This person's being affected in such a negative way. Like let's say if you want to get really serious. Like maybe they, they're drinking too much. Or mm-hmm. maybe they're going out too much. Or mm-hmm. you know kind of not being focused on their career or something like that. You kind of want to tell them like, hey, like you're amazing at this craft. You're amazing at this job. You should keep doing it and stop like resorting to other things and trying to make yourself feel better by consuming alcohol. Like something like that. Mm. So I would… Like if it's something serious that way, I would tell them straight up. If it's something that is necessary to, to, necessary to actually like uh, experience… Like you know a phase. Someone needs to go to a phase to become better. So <laughs> don't you think? So like if it's something like that, then I just kind of… Not, I try not to like be mm-hmm. too concerned and mm-hmm. let them be. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think like everybody has that like Mario moment where you've got to beat the Bowser to like move to the next yeah. island, you know? Mm-hmm. Like you don't change unless you've overcome something. But for me, I don't really like to intervene. Like you said, like I would have to be really close with this person mm. to give my opinion straight yeah. up. Um, if I'm not that close, I think I just tend to like back off a little bit and like distance from them a little bit. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm i just not the person to really, I guess, say my opinion on somebody else's life. Unless mm. it endangered them, you know, yeah. in like yeah. a, a really serious way. Mm. Um, that's hard. I don't know. I don't mm. like to be like, hey, let's talk. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you could be considered me. like a boomer. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. Ah! Hey! Did you guys like the video? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And press the notification bell so you never miss another. Bye!